everybody know who Screen Australia is? Well, I've, uh, I'm sure you've all heard of us, but maybe we have a bigger function than you might think. Screen Australia is the federal government funding agency for the film and TV and digital media industry. Uh, our whole purpose for being is to try and help create a strong, sustainable industry to help um, support filmmakers to grow and to carve out a career. But as well as funding most Australian movies and a lot of the big TV shows and a lot of the web content, we also have other functions like research, liaising with government and also administering the offset. Uh, we've got a budget of about 90 million a year, I think. Um, and a uh, big head office in Sydney, a smaller office in Melbourne. It's a fantastic place to work. I've been there for nearly 12 years. And I just feel like I've got the best job in the world. And one of the reasons is because my area in particular is all about new technology, new platforms. Um, and it's meant the job stayed incredibly fresh. You know, it's not like I'm funding the same stuff now as I was when I first started there. Uh, can I just, just to get a sense of who everyone is, because there's only one familiar face to me in the room. Has anyone ever applied for funding from Screen Australia? Any of you successful? Oh, fantastic, great. Well, hope to, I'll hope to give you some insight as to how you might, others who haven't been successful might be able to become so. Um, Darius, did you put your hand up? Darius is my one familiar face. Talking about uh, networking and finding cool people to work with, Darius is a fantastic filmmaker. Uh, for the bureaucrat, the dream is to hang on to somebody's coattails when they're winning an award so you can claim some kind of credit, even though all you did was pay the invoices. And uh, Darius and I were in Texas. I was, with, I was lucky enough to be with da Darius when he won the big award for innovation at South by Southwest for uh, Goa Hippie Tribe. It's a fantastic interactive documentary. Just to prove how out of date uh, some elements of this uh, PowerPoint are, we are no longer called multi-platform even though the words cropped up a fair bit already and still makes a lot of sense, but we just get itchy feet and have to change the name every couple of years, and now it's called online production. Um, but I'll get into that more in, in a moment. Oh, I can use this, can't I? I'm going to get this wrong. So I was going to talk to you about four things today, but my brief was to talk about you know, what's going off online and... Uh, I am going to be doing that, but it, uh, hopefully through the prism of talking about, well, there's my uh, seven steps to online superstardom, which I'm actually going to skip and come back to if we've got time later, uh, just to tease you. Uh, we're going to talk about current trends in online production, as I see them, uh, an overview of the online production fund, uh, which I manage and how to score money from Scroz, Screen Oz, which is all anyone really wants to know from me. I know my place. Uh, so to kick off, I'm just going to show you a little video of... Um, this is a, uh, just a compilation of some of the highlights from uh, the 20 releases during 2016. I haven't got one for 2017 yet, but hey, I guess we're only halfway through. This ain't my There's a play button on the bottom there that should work. trends. Uh, at the moment, I, I'd see these fitting into three different categories at the moment. And this is current trends in terms of what's happening in the uh, filmmaker community in Australia and globally. And, uh, but these are the current trends that are relevant to us in the screen industry and particularly to me in online production. Uh, the first one that I see is personality driven content. Um, and by this I mean uh, Generally, uh, vloggers, people who are making content very regularly. Uh, it's generally non-narrative. It's going up on their social media platforms. Um, 
uh, it's uh, um, some of my uh, favorite Australians uh, doing this kind of thing, and I would include um, Christian and his brother in this, the Van Vurens and Skipbox. Uh, Adele, you're going to meet this afternoon. Um, but uh, uh, it generally is driven around a personality as much as whether it's uh, obviously overtly personality with vlogging or whether it's just the same people appearing in character in the particular uh, sketches or content that they're doing. Um, you know, this stuff is in incredibly big online. It's for brave people who are happy to be both in front of the camera and behind it. Web series, uh, this is uh, generally scripted narrative content. Um, Mike is going to be doing what I know will be a fantastic job of talking about uh, what, um, uh, you know, the, the craft skills around um, creating web series and the different kinds. But this is, t a lot of content comes to me like this, uh, which is um, a number of episodes being shot um, typically in a block, like a, basically a cheap TV on the internet. Um, it's much, it's actually more of a, often the filmmakers don't have a, a pre-existing audience. Sometimes they do, but often they don't. And uh, because it is narrative, um, it's uh, perhaps more of a challenge to find an audience for it online because uh, people are expected to watch in a certain order and commit to a longer uh, piece of storytelling. But certainly there are a lot of successful ones coming out of Australia and there's a very healthy uh, festival circuit internationally and awards can be won and careers can be uh, launched and um, advanced. And the third area coming into me is these short format series for SVODs, the streaming video on demand platforms. Um, I've seen over the past couple of years a huge explosion, as we all have, in these kinds of platforms and um, their hunger for content uh, and willingness to uh, spend money. The obvious ones here in Australia are of course the catch up and on demand services from the broadcasters like iView and We'll be hearing from Q later from iView, um, which will be a fascinating talk. But there's SPS On Demand, Foxtel Go, uh, uh, Nine Go, um, Stan. Uh, I've had shows in common with all of these uh, services. And then overseas, I've also got shows with the likes of uh, Black Pills, Full Screen, Canal Play, uh, CISO, God rest their soul. Uh, and it's been incredible to see this uh, enormous um, influx of money and explosion of, uh, of spending from, from these um, content libraries uh, and willingness to, certainly with the international ones, a willingness to look at Australian content. Um, so just uh, going back to the online production program, um, which is my area within Screen Australia, this is really all about, uh, often it's working with new-ish talent, uh, but certainly on uh, new platforms, new formats, new revenue models, um, anything new. And it's been a very successful fund. Uh, we support around 20 projects a year or so. Uh, we've got a budget of about three and a half million dollars. And over the past several years, we've won, I say we, four, four digital Emmys and a bunch of other awards besides. So it's really been a very fertile ground for launching new talent and doing some very interesting and innovative work. Um, online production is actually uh, uh, an umbrella term for a whole bunch of things that we do. There's the production fund, which I'll talk about in a moment. But within that, I also love doing special initiatives, which is where you partner with some uh, marketplace entity to try and create opportunities for filmmakers in particular growth areas. We've been doing a lot of this. It's, it's tricky to administer. It does um, uh, take a lot of work on, on our end. But as Christian said uh, earlier, when there's an upcoming deadline, like with um, the Movie Network, uh, Movie Extra um, uh, initiative that he went into, which, which I was involved in, uh, it gives filmmakers a deadline and it gives them an opportunity. Um, whilst it might feel from the outside like a bit of a chuck ruffle, actually great work can rise to the top and it really can uh, kickstart careers. I'm going to go into some detail in some of these, but I'll, uh, I mean, um, only as much as they deserve. Uh, the production fund. So this is the direct support that we give. Um, it's, uh, to be specific about what we support, it's generally either low budget television like Soulmates, it's web series, 
uh, and it's interactive content uh, and virtual reality. We do up to 500,000 per project, but typically those getting 500,000 or close to it are the much uh, bigger, more ambitious productions that have a particular case for needing high production values, some, uh, um, you know, something like a Soulmates, the six by half hours. For web series, it's typically more in the two to three hundred thousand dollar range, um, or um, uh, ten to fifteen thousand per minute. Uh, seems to be a rough budget range that we're working in. Um, funds are for production and release, but not development. We do have development funds, just not through this door, as the name uh, production fund might suggest. And uh, one thing I love about the program is that you can apply any time. It hasn't always been this way, but I think uh, most bureaucrats um, are not of the computer says no variety. We actually want to try and make, uh, do good thing by the filmmakers and uh, uh, be user friendly and not having deadlines is certainly one way of being able to do that. So we can respond to you and when your project's ready and when your marketplace is telling you to get it done rather than you having to wait uh, for six months until our next deadline. The production fund, um, I'll just give you a snapshot there of uh, in the 16-17 financial year, these are the projects that we supported. I think it's interesting if I do a very quick run through them, uh, because it go, going back to what's going off online, I, I hope you can see a sort of picture emerging of what we think is going off online through the prism of what we're supporting. Um, but it also gives an interesting insight into some of the platforms. So we've got... Uh, uh, Awake, which uh, Mike Jones is uh, one of the creators of and the writer of, so uh, he might even touch on that later. That's a VR project. Charlie's Crafty Kingdom is a, a partnership with YouTube that we're doing, short form content. Um, I won't go through all of them in detail. In fact, I'll just tell you the partners for these. Uh, so we've got Netflix and ABC, FX, ABC iView, ABC iView, ABC. A a ABC are probably our biggest partner. And then with the other guys, Stan, ABC, this is self-distributed, SBS On Demand, self-distributed, uh, it's VR, so self-distributed, Comedy Channel, Comedy Central, and Black Pills. So there really are some interesting marketplace partners out there at the moment. Whilst we're happy to fund projects entirely, we don't always need to because there is people spending money out there. And I'll just run through some of our special initiatives. Um, not many of these are live at the moment, but it's really, really worth uh, keeping an eye out for them because I do think they're great opportunities. Long story short with ABC on which uh, Mike Jones worked and has been really instrumental in helping the scripts get into good shape. Uh, we supported four there, um, none of which have gone to air yet, but uh, please check them out when they do. Skip Ahead is uh, a, a, I think a really dynamic initiative that we do. It's a partnership that we've had with YouTube Dan might talk a little bit about this this afternoon. Um, what we recognised several years ago now is some of the most exciting f new filmmakers in Australia are just working online of their own accord, pushing out their own content, and in some cases have built enormous audiences. And what Screen Australia wanted to do was see uh, what it would be like to give these people some money, uh, to see if they could create more ambitious work and rise to the occasion, and if we could help them grow their audience. And Skip Ahead was all about doing that. Uh, we've done three rounds of that so far, and I'm going to show you a little bit of work that come out of it. Um, Mike, as part of it, we, uh, we also had a, a screenwriting workshop to help them to raise their game with those craft skills. Uh, this is the, the Racka Racka boys, and we were able to, lucky enough to get George Miller to come in and talk to them. Um, so it's a, it's a partnership and an initiative that we take really seriously, and uh, is just a, a fascinating space to be working in.